Okay, so everybody, um, uh, welcome to the Astronomy Day in Schools uh, September Equinox uh, 2023 uh, program. So um, the time is uh, 9.30 universal time uh, here in Japan, uh, 18.30, uh, uh, 6.30 p.m. So uh, this is probably the time of year when there are many events in outdoor activities, uh, community activities, sports and culture. So I would like to thank all the teachers and students uh, for coming to Astronomy Day and the school's program today, the September Equinox program on this busy day. I hope to help teachers and especially students enjoy the communication. Um, I am Tomita, the chair of the Astronomy Day in the Schools project, and today I will facilitate the online program. So uh, I would like to welcome all of you teachers and students uh, from Romania, uh, from Thailand, and from Iran, and from Japan. So from Romania, teachers and students. Okay, and uh, from Thailand, uh, and from Iran, uh, so I heard that um, some of the Iranian students uh, are very busy now, and uh, they will uh, come to this program later. And from Japan, Hyogo Kenditsu Daigaku, Fuzoku Chugako, no Minasama, Toa Yoroskunagaishmas. So I will summarize the names, schools, and email addresses of all the participants and send you later. Please use the list of uh, list uh, for your further and future collaboration with each other. I will also issue the participation certificates, as always, for all of you, teachers and students. Okay, so now, before we start the main part of the program, uh, program the presentations by teachers and students, I would like to take a few moments of your time. Um, some of you may know, and some of you may not, uh, that there was a person named Paolo Bretones who came up with the idea of uh, Astronomy Day in Schools and has developed it into the Astronomy Day in Schools program as it is today. Okay, so... Uh, uh, okay, so I will show the, some pictures. Please wait a minute. Okay. Uh, so I will. Uh, okay. So maybe uh, you you can see the picture of Paolo Bretones. Um, attended in the, the previous program of Astronomy Day in Schools uh, project. Um, uh, Astronomy Day in Schools was implemented as one of the IAU 100th anniversary projects. Okay, so I will show you the, the website. Okay, please wait a minute. Uh, where is the website? Okay. Okay, so this is the website of uh, one of the uh, IAU 100th anniversary uh, events, Astronomy Day in Schools uh, 2019. Uh, here, Mark the World Science Day of Peace and Development and Mercury Transit. So uh, on occasion of the Mercury Transit um, in front of the sun, the Astronomy Day in the schools was implemented. But Paolo has proposed the idea of Astronomy Day in the schools long before this IAU 100 event. 
the event as YAU 100 was a one-time event, but he proposed that it be developed and continued as an IAU Commission C1 activity, a Commission C1 of Astronomy Education and Development. Uh, ah, yes, yeah, this is the Commission C1, Education and Development of the Astronomy uh, website uh, for the communication between teachers and students ar around the world. Then a network of Iranian students uh, with astronomy activity proposed a quarterly online meeting. Uh, quarterly me means the, the, the equinoxes and solstices. And each time uh, it has been attended by teachers and students from various countries around the world, including students from Thailand, Romania, Bulgaria, Iran, Japan, and many other countries. Paolo always participated in this program and encouraged us, but uh, he passed away on August 1st, uh, 2023, about two months ago. Um, he yes, uh, yes, uh, he passed away uh, about two months ago. He left for the world of stars and galaxies one step ahead of us. Yesterday was a full moon, like it's light, I feel that today Paolo is watching over this program from the far side of the universe. So if anyone knows Paolo well, sharing a few memories of him is greatly welcome. So um, so uh, uh, I'm very happy to uh, have your some memories about Paolo. Yes, uh, thank you, Tomita-san. Yeah, actually, it's my honor uh, that uh, I will have the opportunity to share good memory uh, to Paolo Petronich. But before uh, sharing uh, commemoration to Professor Paolo Petronich, uh, he is a key person and the founder of the ADIS. So let me say some few words on behalf of uh, Commission C1 to greet and welcome all the ADIS friends who mm -hmm. are joining the ADIS September Equinox meeting today. Uh, I, I, I saw that there are four countries, uh, Japan, Romania, Iran, and Iran joining uh, on this ADIS uh, meeting today. So this year, the September equinox happened already on the 23rd of September. Yeah, and I believe that uh, all of you enjoy both uh, cultural and science events yeah. in your country. So uh, this year, the ADIS uh, September equinox will focus on the international project of sky photography. Uh, this is organized under uh, Students International Network for Astronomy or SINA project initiated by uh, Mahdi Rockney from Iran. So uh, it is a good opportunity for us to show a beautiful uh, dark sky photography or some activity related to this uh, mission. But, uh, now I like to share my good memory about Paolo. Professor Paolo Britonis, uh, he is my good good friends for many years ago. I worked closely with him since I was appointed as the <laughs> vice president of the Commission C1 in I think in 2018. That time, Paolo was uh, president of the Commission C1. He gave me uh, several advices regarding the operation of the Commission C1, actually, and how to make a further development of uh, astronomy education, especially we discuss a lot of how to promote astronomy education research. 
I uh, personally, as the president of the Southeast Asia Astronomy Network uh, in, in this region, I also like to see the promotion of astronomy, education, research, and the outreach activity in the Southeast Asia. Because uh, we have done so many activity in astronomy in this uh, region, actually. And Paolo uh, advised me some strategy to promote inter-regional collaboration and convince the regions to produce more astronomy, education, research, and uh, outreach activities. So I think I will continue the goodwill of Paolo in promoting astronomy, education, and I hope that we would join together and fulfill his uh, final wish. So thank you, Tomita. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for um, the, the great Mrs. Bernraksa. Thank you very much. So um, if anyone here uh, would like to uh, share your memory about Paolo, so uh, uh, I would like to welcome any messages. Okay, so um, uh, here uh, I would like to have um, a minute of silence, uh, one minute of silence for Paolo. Um, I appreciate it if you join. Okay, so I will uh, again show the, the picture of Paolo Bertones. Okay, so um, the one minute silence for Paolo Bertones. So, Yes, thank you very much for joining this silence. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay, so um, uh, okay, so let's go to the the main part of the program, uh, the communication, uh, the presentation by teachers and students. So first, um, I would like to uh, play the the pre-recorded video by Matthew Rockney uh, of Iran uh, about uh, uh, the project. Uh, of astrophotography and light pollution. Okay. Okay, so please uh, wait a minute uh, to prepare the video. So here they are. Uh, yes. So please wait a minute uh, for a while to start uh, the video. So this video contains the, the message uh, from Madi uh, about the memory of uh, Paolo again. And then uh, he will explain about the project, research project of light pollution and astrophotography. Okay. Okay, so I will share the video, share the sound. Okay, so please watch the video. Hello, everyone. Happy Mehrgan, the new Persian culture ceremony for autumn equinox. I'm really happy to be here with you, but I'm really sorry if I couldn't be in person or actually online with you during the meeting. And I want to speak about the project of dark sky photography and light pollution that we've been uh, holding it uh, for a month. And I'm happy to announce that 
um, we have lots of reports so far and I hope that we can have more reports in the future. Um, first of all, I want to um, show my condolences and my sadness about losing one of our best friends and colleagues, Sergio Paulo Sergio Bertones, who was not only one of the key persons um, in our activities in ADIS and astronomy education, but also someone who impressed lots of people, students, and teachers to pursue astronomy education. He was a very encouraging person, and he always tried to focus on education and things that can, um, you know, improve the behavior of humanity into achieving the great successes and goals of sustainable development, especially in the field of astronomy. So, I want to start about the project. This project was um, actually introduced by one of my friends and colleagues, Saba Izadi, and I don't think uh, she's going to be able to attend this meeting. And uh, I introduced the project to my friend Tamita, and uh, he started to form an introduction and a structure for this uh, project. And uh, I managed it to something that students can use um, their phones or cameras, something interesting, something they enjoy and easy, so they can have something as an entertainment and also focus on something that they can learn from. So uh, this was the key goals of the project and um, we started with uh, different um, you know forms uh, of the project uh, and there was something that we hope we can use in order to make this project more functional for students and uh, the point was they can use a scale to measure the sky pollution or magnitude. So we started with uh, Borkel scale, but uh, Borkel scale was a little bit complicated. So my dear friend Tamita suggested that we can use uh, the scale of Globe at Night, uh, which is uh, simpler and very easier to understand. So, uh, the point of this project is to choose a sky and actually some uh, sample and random but important constellations. Uh, on this project, we focused on Cygnus and Sagittarius, two important, beautiful and kind of um, bright constellations. So uh, the point is to find this constellation and try to use them uh, as a sample to match with the scale of globe at night. And the simplest way to do that is to match and try to compare your pictures or also, uh, you know, this kind that you can see visible with your eyes with uh, the prepared pictures and scales of globe at night. So for Cygnus, which contains the summer triangle containing Vega, Dineb, and Atayr, um, you can find out which scale from 0 to 7, which contains 8 scales, can be matchable with your picture or actually your sky. And the same is exactly for the constellation Sagittarius. And uh, the important part is that both of these constellations contains uh, the Milky Way, so it can be easy to add lots of you know, different objects in the sky, not only stars, so we can contain different uh, visible and invisible actually hardly visible uh, objects in the sky. 
And another part of this project was to understand sometimes, you know, there are light pollution, which is really important and affects the sky easily. But sometimes uh, by chance, if the weather can be challengeable, also the moon phase. So we wanted to let the students understand that even if you have a cloudy weather, so you can also, if there are just some, I don't know, some uh, start visible, you can do this, but uh, it is the best that you do it in a clear sky. So there's lots of scale, uh, there's, a, there's another scale for uh, measuring the cloud coverage during that observation. And we also ask students to add more information and a form of report that I'm going to explain later. So there are some steps that uh, students can do and we suggested that teachers help students do that because uh, they have to go outside the city trying to find the nearest best sky that you can find and see that even in that sky there will be a lot of pollution. And I, of course, there was time, move to the location. They know how to do a project when they have to move somewhere, okay, get prepared and use a GPS function to find the coordinates of the location actually. So they can use their phone, you know, the GPS, whatever. And uh, it was important that they do not um, edit their photos very much. And it should be similar with what they can see with their naked eyes. So, and we asked them to send us some reports so we can discuss it during this meeting. Uh, I'm not gonna explain a lot. I'm gonna let uh, my friends and colleagues explain more, especially uh, dear Tomita San. And of course, students, those who have done these reports and I hope that they can share it more with us and I just want to say that uh, we had a deadline in order to get some report into this meeting but uh, the point is this uh, this cannot be a short time project and it, it's going to be an ongoing project uh, from now until whenever it can be possible and we hope that we can ask more and more students every day, every week, every year. So um, we can have lots of information about the light pollution on the sky uh, on the airs in every location that can be possible, actually. So thank you for your participation. Uh, here are some beautiful pictures, just some of them randomly from the students that I have received so far. As you can see, different skies, um, bright skies, clean skies, not clean skies, you know. So uh, this is beautiful that we can share different results here. And of course, uh, let's just see a part of summary of this report uh, that I've gathered from the report form. and. Uh, as you can see, this is the uh, age of the students. Most of the students are between 13, 14, 15. And uh, as you can see so far, I've just received 21 responses from 21 uh, uh, individual response, actually. And uh, as you can see, all of the students are just from secondary school and high school. And these are just some beautiful um, reports as well. As you can see, the moon phase um, are just new moon, no visible moon. So they've done it in the good time and, of course, half or more. So it's going to be a little bit different. And as you can see, the GAN or glow at night uh, a scale from 0 to 7 as you can see there are different so many different results here and uh, 
it shows the variety of this coins that these students uh, could have seen. And also um, the um, cl uh, cloud coverage, I think uh, I might uh, make a mistake. Uh, I copied both uh, results for, um, you know, Globat Night scales. Sorry about that. I'm going to uh, actually I'm going to put the uh, final result later in another no report so we can see everything so it's just something that you can see right now i'm sorry about that and uh, here are just some comments that students share with us and their feelings and uh, you know the experience of doing something like this and i saw that and most of these comments were actually really positive and uh, and i and i was enjoying so much reading them and i hope that if they are here today to share more with us their feelings and um, i'm really happy about that so thank you so much uh, i hope that uh, we can share another project this year as the schools are uh, getting started so we can be more active for each uh, time that we meet as a deadline the next one would be Yalda night which is the uh, winter solstice or actually December solstice we can start another project and we can add more and more so uh, more students more countries and more activities can be done by our community thank you so much and I hope you have a great time Take care. Okay, so this is the, the video by Mahdi. Uh, Mahdi is uh, here uh, online. And um, uh, I heard that uh, one of the students uh, from Iran, Medica Gombadi, uh, will join this meeting and add some comments later. So I... I'm looking for Melika. Maybe she will come. I don't think she's here, but uh, I think she's gonna uh, join us later. Okay, no problem. No problem. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So before uh, uh, starting the presentation from Japanese students, so Mahdi, are are you? Uh, do you want to add some short comments? Um. Actually, I just want to thank you all for. Uh, participate in the project and uh, um, I'm really happy to see that uh, so many active students uh, because you know it was a short time to announce the project uh, and we weren't able to do this and uh, introduce the project to more countries so we just asked uh, as the colleagues and uh, coordinator we uh, had and we used to work in some countries like Thailand, Romania, Bulgaria and other mm -hmm. countries. And I'm happy that uh, whoever could join this project did it. And uh, I want to actually, I want to say the great thanks to the country Romania. You know, what uh, they're doing is so inspiring and wonderful. They're always active, they always do their best, and they show that uh, they can be a separate community to do. Uh, astronomical activities, especially in the field of education. So um, I'm really happy. I'm going to, you know, thank them all. And also, of course, uh, the colleagues from Japan, Tomita san, is always uh, really helpful. And he, he always actually encourage when I, uh, you know, ask something, when I introduce a project, uh, he always makes it better, a better level. So uh, I really appreciate that. So it, it shows that we can do something together and makes it better. And also Thailand with Boon Raksar, uh, Hum San, yeah. uh, my friend, uh, they all, they're always very active. I know that you have done lots of this project before. So it's a great experience for us. When you join, you, you show your experience and you can help other countries as well. So thank you so much. And thank you for the students that uh, have been participating in this project. And I hope that in a future we can have more and more students involved. Uh, uh, Tomita, may I have a little comment? 
Oh, yes, yeah, thank you. Yes, yeah, please go okay. ahead. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the nice presentation, Madi. Uh, I think that uh, it would be very useful if you can share your presentation also to, to us. So we know the step now, uh, what are we going to do to join uh, the Sky Photography Project? I think that uh, if you can share this to us and also of course, of course. Uh, later, if we can uh, maybe initiate some data archive, maybe in the website mm -hmm. or something like that. So we each country can share the photos and we can uh, have some many photo of the uh, nice sky, uh, very beautiful photos. I think this would be very useful and we can discuss about the quality of the sky in many parts uh, in the world. I think this would be very useful. Okay, I have two comments. Yes, thank you. Um, you know, uh, me and Tomita san you know, um, we were um, talking about if we can make this project ongoing. So we started it, but not finish it. So mm -hmm. how about 10 years, five years, 20, 20 ah, yes. years, why yeah. not? Yes, yeah, so yeah. there's plenty yes. of time. And yes, of we course. can go step by step, level by level. So, uh, and not only start to uh, you know focus on this project, we can add more project and you know make a relationship. So this is something that we just started, and uh, this is a good idea that you said uh, to prepare a platform or something so everybody yeah. can share um, their results. And um, I think we can discuss it later and you know uh, see how we can do this better. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, it really is. The um, yes, the data archive is very important. So this is the era of data archive. So uh, before this era, so we have to have the big telescope, big facilities. But now we have the great network of student teachers, uh, thanks to internet com uh, communication. So the data archive is very important and very precious. So we can use the archive as the educational resources and also for the research resources. So uh, we can have the great um, uh, potential to develop uh, these resources. Okay, so we have to uh, think uh, about many things about the uh, repository of the, the, the data archive. So uh, later we will discuss, okay. Okay, so the time is limited, so uh, I want to uh, start um, the the presentation by teachers and students. So the first part is Japan. So I uh, will uh, introduce the Japanese parties today. So Nihon no minasama yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Okay, so sometimes I speak in, in Japanese and sometimes I translate uh, the Japanese uh, voices into English. Okay, so uh, first I would like to introduce the today's participants from Japan. Um uh, yes, the students from uh, uh, junior high school of University of Kyogo. Yes, uh, they are a first time uh, for them. Uh, it is first time for them to participate in this program. So thank you very much. So they can Hokkaido Nakashibetsu Koko Oshino Sensei, the teacher, uh, Mr. Oshino from uh, Nakashibetsu High School. Uh, maybe he, he is online. Okay. Uh, sometimes he's very busy. And, um, ah, so, uh, Okubo san, irashiru? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, uh, Okubo san, Okubo san. Hai, hitogoto dozo. <laughs> Okay, so he is um, 
uh, one of my students uh, uh, of my uh, university, uh, he is a pre-service uh, teacher, uh, a university student. Uh, he will be um, the high school teacher next year. He sometimes will uh, make some short comments uh, to presentations. Okay, so uh, please welcome him also. So um, from Japan, we have two presentations. The first is from Bisei uh, Junior High School. And uh, the second part is uh, Hyogo Kenditsu Daigaku, uh, Junior High School of the University of Hyogo. So, Hyogo Kenditsu Daigaku no So, uh, so first I will introduce uh, the presentation of uh, BSA, uh, uh, Junior High School, instead of students. So, the students are very busy today. And the maybe you know BC Observatory, one of the, the biggest uh, public observatories in Japan. And uh, the director of the observatory is Ayani, Dr. Uh, Kazuya Ayani, um, the coordinator of uh, Astronomers Without Borders uh, Japan. Uh, he uh, planned to participate in today's program, but uh, she was very busy uh, to handle uh, tonight's event in Japan because he's the director of the observatory. So uh, just one hour before this program, he emailed me that uh, he uh, could not uh, attend this meeting, but uh, he sent me um, some slides. So I will introduce the slides uh, instead of the students, okay? Okay, so before that, before that, okay, so maybe uh, you can see the the map of Japan uh, with uh, city lights. So uh, you can see the 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 mouse pointer on the screen. So can you see the arrow pointer? Mm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So, uh, Bisei town is around here. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I'm yeah. sorry that the map is very small. So, uh, it is in the mountain area, but a little closer to big city. So, the sky is, uh, yes, relatively clear, but Bisei town is very um, famous because, yes, you can see. This town, Ibarra City, Japan, is uh, famous for international dark sky community. Yes. So uh, this is officially uh, announced that the Bisei town is very important city. Uh, uh, the local government and the local residents are very eager to maintain a dark and quiet sky so um, several years ago, uh, the city uh, was selected as the international dark sky community. Okay, so uh, this is the slide from the... Okay, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Observation by students of Bisei Junior High School. Uh, summarized by Dr. Kazuya Ani, uh, Bisei, uh, director of Bisei Astronomical Observatory. Okay, so observation by Bisei Junior High School students. Uh, age of the students of junior high schools in Japan, uh, 12 to 15 years old. Uh, the students did not take photos because not all junior high school students have smartphones. So, the student carried out globe at night naked eye observations. Uh, the student observed during September 12th to 14th. Six students participated. They observed the night sky from their homes. The location is uh, like this, the 34 north, 34 degree north and the 133 degree east. 
Um, yes, uh, mountainous area, uh, a little closer to big city, uh, near the central part of Japan. Okay, so this is the summary of student report. Moon phases, uh, no visible uh, moon during their observations. Each student observed once. All students observed only Cygnus, not Sagittarius. Okay, so you can see uh, this table that the, the number of uh, global at night GAN seat uh, ranges uh, from zero to four, but zero means the cloud coverage 100%. So this means it was completely cloudy. So uh, depending on the, the location uh, and depending on the sky condition, uh, the the faintest magnitude is one magnitude to four magnitude. Mm, not so good, but actually a little better than my home because my home is uh, in the big city. Okay, so maybe this is interesting. The comments from uh, three participants. When I concentrated on it, the night sky, I found that I could see both bright and faint stars better than I expected. Yes, very nice comments. Better than I expected. The second one, I was disappointed that I could not see the stars because of many clouds on all three days. The students tried three times. I would like to see how many stars I can see on a clear sky again. This means that um, observing the clear sky is not easy. Uh, we can have many cloudy nights, we can have many rainy nights, uh, so the clear nights are not so, not so frequent in Japan. The third one, I tried to see the stars for the first time in a long time, but I was disappointed that they were not very beautiful due to the weather. Yes, this is again that uh, the clear sky uh, before the observation, the students uh, might expect that uh, they would have many clear nights. But the reality is that the clear nights were very rare. Okay, so this is the summary by uh, Dr. Ayani, the director of the observatory. Due to changeable weather during the observation period, some students observed the star stars in poor sky condition. However, one student reported global at night sheet number four, meaning that the faintest magnitude of four, four magnitudes, hmm, relatively good in Japanese sky. Although Bisei area has dark skies, as I introduced the, the recognized as the dark sky community, I think students in Bisei have rather few opportunities to carefully observe the night sky in daily life. This is a very important point. So I believe that motivating students in the BCA area to carefully observe the night sky, as in this project, is educationally meaningful. Next time, I would like to promote collaboration with other junior high schools in urban areas in order to compare sky brightness in BCA and urban areas. So. Um, including us, so many adults and many students think that uh, we have observed the night sky many times, but in the reality is that um, the careful observation was not so frequent. So as uh, Ayani pointed out here, uh, in encouraging students to carefully observe the night sky is very important. It's easy, but it it's important. Okay. Okay, so this is a very short uh, report from um, BSA Junior High School. And I'm sorry, I could not introduce the, the student teachers from uh, BSA Junior High School. But, uh, okay, the second presentation is from uh, Junior High School of Hyogo uh, University, Hyogo Kenbitsu Daigaku Fuzoku Chugaku no Minasama, Jumbia Yoroshi de Shoka. Hm? 
Adjust that, please. Wait a minute. Eh, Shogo Kendis Daku Zokuchuga Kono Minasan. Can you hear me? あ、はい、えっと、ちょっと音声がこっち聞き取りにくくて調整中なんですが、あの、発表をスタートしたいと思います。えっと、so we're in Hyogo next to Okayama Bisei, and my students introduce research, uh, light pollution, and uh, uh, autumn day's culture. So, first, Mana, please. Can you see our slide? Yes, it's coming. Okay. Not yet, but it's coming. So, start. Okay. We can see the slides clearly. Please go ahead. Okay, let's start. We belong to the science club astronomy group of Junior High School of University of Hyogo. Our school is in the mountain and can see the stars clearly. Also, we can find many insects. Our school is located in Kanigori town of Hyogo picture. The yellow arrow sign, sign is pointing our school. So now, uh, we are going to start our presentation. What's the photo we took? This picture was taken in our school, and this picture was taken with an iPhone 14. Next picture was taken at our school, too. Also, it was taken on September 23rd. This picture was taken with Xperia 10. The next day, we took a picture near our house. This picture was taken on the video camera. And this picture was taken in Yamas Yamasaki City. Also, this picture was taken on September 24th and taken by Xperia 10. This picture was took in Himeji town. On the same day, we took this picture and this picture was taken with the iPhone 7 and iOS City. At the same day, we took it in Himeji and we take taken with it with an iPhone 13. On the next day, September 25th, we took this picture by iPhone SE second generation, uh, sorry, iPhone SE second generation and in Himeji city. There are uh, our pictures. So now I will talk about the good points and bad points the, about our research. The good points are that it was very easy for us because we did not need any special things. For example, some kind of expensive camera. The bad points was that uh, we weren't lucky with the weather and we had a smartphones that couldn't take pictures of stars. We, we made some ideas about our, from our research. Uh, these are our ideas. 
and we we have some points that we need we want to research much more and we got about that we want to take a survey that can be used as a kind of a sample of light pollution and examine how stars appear depending on the color of illumination and check the humidity and the amount of clouds and compare it with an under, another country and take a data. And we want to research about the light pollution about in this place in Hyogo Prefecture. We researched the culture and flowers of the outdoor Ignos. Now we will introduce it. What is the outdoor Ignos? This picture was painted with the image of the outdoor Ignos by our school students. Otomo Equinox Day. People visit graves. Otomo Equinox Day is a day to honor ancient and remember those who have passed away. People clean their ancient graves and offer flowers. For example, crescent moss, sakaki, lilies, and carnation. Cluster Melilis. Cluster Melilis blooms before and after Ottoman Economics Day. Cluster Melilis was called the flower of heaven city by people. You can see Cluster Melilis Japan except in Hokkaido and Tohoku. This flower is called Higanbana in Japanese. Higan means the Ottoman Economics Day. Bana means flower. I talk about Japanese food ohagi. People eat Japanese food ohagi. This custom began in the Edo period. The origin of its red beans and clover flowers look similar, so it was called hagi no mochi. It changed and became called ohagi. Also, it comes from the fact that the red color of red beans was offered to ancestors as it has the effect of burning of evil spirits. The spring equinox day is very similar to the autumn equinox. The spring equinox is a day to praise nature and care for living things. The noon time is getting longer and longer forward to the summer. We pay homage to our ancestors by visiting graves, cleaning the hissed altars, and making offerings such as potamochi. Potamochi is sweet and we eat it. Potamochi and ohagi are the same, but they are different the season for it. The botamochi has different ways of making anko, etc. in local areas. Botamochi is eaten when the peonil flowers bloom, so the name comes from the pony flower. Pony flower is called botan in Japanese. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Eto Shibahara says, Eto Happy was called a pond that is taken, Nihon, Nihon Megarun de Stake. Correde or Ori des. 
Okay, so thank you very much for a very nice presentation. Wow, so I have the message and in chat room. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. Can I share a comment? Just. Uh... Yes, of course. Because, yes, it was a beautiful presentation for Japanese students. I like the pictures and the atmosphere. They're wonderful. I just want to say that the Japanese food are amazing. You know, I love them. And especially mochi that you showed is really uh, famous in Iran. You know, and people use it a lot. And there are shops that they can buy and have uh, mochi because it's a uh, delicious. Wow. I think so that's dessert actually but uh, yes <laughs> i want to say that uh, it's really famous and uh, most of people in iran are interested uh, to wow. eat them every day <laughs> thank you okay. so much thank you for uh, your very nice uh, comments so uh, you called uh, mochi uh, in in japanese uh, exactly in your country as well Yes, exactly. Yeah. Wow. And we know that it's a Japanese wow. dessert, and um, uh, you know, recently it's been very famous, and people uh, are really like, you know, likely to have it and buy it every day. You can find <laughs> shops that sells mochi. Okay. Okay. So this is <laughs> an, okay. So Mahdi, this is an example of the twenty. First century version of Silk Road, exactly. exchanging the, the the products and the culture between uh, countries uh, along the uh, long path. えっと、兵庫県立大附属中学の皆様、あのイランの方もお餅を召し上がるそうです。今聞きました。えっと、大変あの、お餅が有名なんだそうです。あの、大変美味しい、あの、紹介をありがとうございましたということです。大久保さん、何かコメントあります?はい、星の話だけだと思ってたらすごいいろんな文化の話とか聞けてすごいよく
uh, in this analysis and in, 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 in this picture. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh if you can any uh, answer so please tell me uh please more in detail in, in this question あの、<笑> あの、え、いくつかあの、あの、興味深い、あの、ものありがとう、あの、発表ありがとうございました。えっと、一つ二つクエスチョン、あの、えっと、質問ありまして、一つあの、カメラいろんなものを使われてたんですけれども、もし差
the student used uh, various kinds of smartphones. So what was the difference uh, between uh, smartphones? Some smartphones uh, have high sensitivity and others uh, don't have so much sensitivity. So what is the difference uh, between uh, among the smartphones? So this was the question. The student answer was that um, there was so much difference <laughs> among smartphones. Some new smartphones are so sensitive that many stars, many stars uh, were uh, taken much better than eye inspection. On the other hand, the old smartphones was not so good. So uh, the the photo quality was not um, poorer than eye inspection. So there were many, many uh, quality uh, taken by uh, various kinds of smartphones. So it was very difficult to catch the the picture uh, as uh, we saw uh, by the naked eye. Okay, but uh, it is it was difficult, but it was it is challenging. So th this is the point we can um, start the new research project: how to reproduce uh, the sky uh, photo that we actually see by our naked eye. Okay, so this is the first question and answer. じゃあ、大丈夫ですか。はい。ちょっとそこら辺、そこのあたりまで考えるのが難しかったのと、もしそこの考慮をするとすら、ろうという目処をつけてあのやってみるのもありなのかなと思いました。以上です。はい、ありがとうございます。Thank you very much. The second question was that um if the um the ISO sensitivity was so high, uh we expected many noises on photos. So sometimes we cannot distinguish uh, from noises uh, from stars. So some noises uh, are very similar to star images. So how we can distinguish uh, between noises and star images? So this was the question, a very high, high level question. So student answer was that, so uh, they uh, started this uh, research project, so um, uh, they uh, would uh, continue to to study about how to distinguish noise uh, from star images. So uh, actually, this is very good question because the, the professional astronomy photography, so it is not easy uh, to distinguish the real real image from noises. So uh, this is a battle between signal and noise. Okay, so thank you very much for the good question and good answer. Thank you very much. Oshino先生,こんなところでよろしいですかはい、ありがとうございます。I uh, understand. Thank you for your interest, uh, interesting uh, answer. Thank you. ありがとうございます Thank you very much for uh, the great uh, question. Okay, so uh, the time is limited. So uh, let's go to the next country, Thailand. So Kamsan, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. But, but I cannot <laughs> share. Okay. okay. So, uh, ありがとうございました。えっと、一旦共有の提唱をお願いします。次はタイの皆さんに行きますので、またご覧いただいて、えっと、質問お願いします。ありがとうございます。Okay, thank you very much. So, Kamsan, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I uh, will share my screen. Uh -huh. 
about uh, this activity. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, I clearly see. Yeah. Okay. This is all right. Okay. Uh, I will show like this. Before uh, this event, uh, the Astro Media in School in Thailand, it, it, Astro Media in, Day in School September Equinox in uh, in the theme Dark Sky Photography and Light Pollution event and share with the uh, our event Astro Media event and Science event in Thailand. Um, first of all, <laughs> about the Dark Sky Photography and Light Pollution, just the project. <laughs> It's very interesting, uh, but uh, this project cannot make in its school uh, by using stuff such as smartphone or easy. It's made too easy to, to observe, but this season in Thailand, across in Thailand cannot observe because of mostly of cloud in every, in every day and every night. And, uh, and they are, uh, to uh, monsoon in in once in 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 la in this month right uh, nowadays <laughs> raining <laughs> uh huh uh, this is uh, at the night sky how hopefully hundred percent and have some uh, heavy rain uh, of across September right <laughs> cannot but uh in the future i think we'll uh we'll run this program uh with our uh school network group we are the doctrine telescope school network that we have a uh, 601 610 school across the thailand uh-huh i Think we can run after November, uh -huh, when the winter is coming. And when we to, uh, when we talk about the dark sky campaign, uh, actually we have the campaign with uh, uh, to run at at here that we call the amazing dark sky in Thailand, right? Uh, that this is the Facebook group of. Uh, amazing dark sky in Thailand. This uh this project cooperate with uh the tourism authority of Thailand to promote the campaign uh to reserve the dark sky across the Thailand. Uh huh. And uh, preserve the dark sky for the reason, uh, for tourism and people who and make the people who uh, see the important to preserve the dark sky area and promote the local agency has the ideal local hosting the dark sky event or stargazing. Uh -huh. uh, we run from 2022 uh -huh, and uh, approve the dark sky area for 12 area in Thailand. And that the last year and this year we approved for 18 dark sky area uh, across the Thailand, uh, mostly in uh, national park uh -huh, and some for uh, the hotel resort in, uh, in nearby the national park that have uh, uh, the dark sky area and we uh, in winter season <laughs> we can uh, Run the dark sky party in just as on March. Uh -huh. We have oh, more than 2,000 people join this event. Right. Uh -huh. So this, this September, we cannot <laughs> observe the night. Uh -huh. I think uh, the school in Thailand cannot too, including this uh this period is the final examination of this q2 uh and you can uh listen them if 
after that. And the, the big event on the, the August of Thailand, uh -huh. that is uh, because of um, at the 18th August is the National Thai Science Day because of uh, uh, the day uh, in, in history that His Majesty King Mongkut on, on Rama, Rama, Rama 4 has accolade and predict the total lunar eclipse uh -huh, and happened on August 18. So uh, Thailand praised him to father of Thai sign and also science, also a side day too, right? So uh, that means every school in Thailand and government, government organization in Thailand usually are in the sign day and sign event uh, in August, right? Uh, at Nari too, uh, we have a lot of a lot of things to do. That is the sign B from 14 to 20 August, right? Uh -huh. Not only uh, at headquarters of Narit at Chiang Mai, we are going to uh, with the regional observatory, uh -huh, called Rajasima, Cha Chiang Sao, and Song Kla too, uh, have many programs to run, uh, to run inside uh, at in the National Science Week, uh, planetarium show, uh, game, the, just as the Da Vinci Code game uh, at, in online workshop, uh, just make a tower from the plastic tube, constellation maker by using the LED, uh, LED lamp, lunar bomb, astro bingo, and stargazing at night, right? Mm -hmm. Not only that, <laughs> we joined we we joined the NARIT, uh, we joined the National Science and Technology Fair as the Bangkok too. Not um not our organization, a horse, uh, but we joined with uh, another another organization. Uh -huh. We have the team, uh, and this. In this year, we have theme about the uh, uh, what infrared and scientific discovery uh, to show about the gems, the image from the gems web telescope was taken, uh -huh, and how uh, how is how the infrared frequency relation with our general life and uh, the exhibition. May, there are many students from school to join to learn about the infrared insight, right? Uh, 10 days, uh, more than 10 days at Bangkok, Thailand, right? Okay, this is our, um, our event in August, right? And today we have uh, two schools from Southern of Thailand, uh, to share the experience on August 2 and uh, share about experience for the night nice sky observation for the sky. The first one at the Satri Phuket School from Southern, uh, you know, <laughs> this Phuket city, yeah, the famous Iceland at the Southern. And the second one, uh, the PSU uh, stand for uh, something. A Prince of Songkhai University, Vithyanusorn School, Suratani, the province uh, that have the famous island, the Samui Iceland, like, uh huh. Okay, let's uh, let's go to another school. Stop sharing. Let's go to the three Phuket to share the experience. My name is Nisa, teacher at the Phuket School, and my student 
มิงพลอยฟ้า please show your hand please มิงพลอยฟ้า two activity that my school done between August and September is sign with uh, as same as other school in Thailand and sky photography project next I will let my student explain about it to everyone Hi, my name is Mink. I'm a junior student from Sri Phuket School. At first, we're gonna start with our science fair. So Sri Phuket School holds a science fair every year in middle of August. At the event, senior students will perform a story about a river princess and a cowherd boy and tell the love story in which they can meet only once a year when signals appear and form a bridge for them to cross the Milky Way. Okay, next. My name is Fa from Steve Gaskill. In addition to the performances on our stage, we also have many astronomy related activities at the event. We event organize astronomy activity for the general public at the city center public park, which is located near our school, such as Super Blue Moon and Star Party. Hello, my name is Fa from Steve Phuket School. Looking for a sickness, the teacher start by taking a photo of the Scorpius that the teacher had taken with the same camera setting, but the left photo was taken at Totli Bay, which is the only dark sky area in Southern Thailand. And the picture on the right of the teacher was taken at the teacher's house in the middle of Phuket town and invite us to take picture of Signa together from the home of member of the Astronomy Club. But unfortunately, that's during the search of six nights in Phuket. There were rain and heavy clouds every night, and most of our homes are located in the red zones on the light pollution maps. We took pictures and shared them with our club members. One day we tried, but in the end we couldn't find six nights. You can follow our astronomy activity by Astronomy SPK in the Facebook. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice presentation. Ah, come on, so your mic is muting. This is the first school. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, we have another school. This is the PSU uh, Vitya Nusson School. Let's okay. present. Greetings to all attendees. Good morning. ที่ใครทําให้คนดูเป็นอะไรสักอย่างที่เราจะว่าไม่ได้ไม่ได้สุดท้ายนะทุกคนพอเราเข้าไปในร้านที่เห็นว่าคนในสวยแต่ร้าน
and the life astronomy inventions. It's my purpose to inspire and people to prove their observation, such as the star boxes, star card, and the constellations, green table. This thing also could be used to create new work in the future. Thank you for reading. Thank you very much for very enjoyable activity presentation. Yeah, it's already we have only uh, two school uh -huh, to presentation uh, in this time. Uh, let, uh, let me mm -hmm. share some comment. Okay, no problem. So please go ahead. Okay. Yeah, we are in, in Thailand. Uh, we are in the monsoon area. It's close to the equator. So the change of the season is different. We have only three seasons. Uh, we have uh, summer, winter, and now it's rainy season. That's why we have the heavy rain. The monsoon came uh, uh, to Thailand and some someday we have a uh, whole rainy days, uh, the whole day. So um, uh, it's different. That's why uh, the change of the season is different from other countries like uh, Japan or Iran. So, uh, you know, in the solstice or the uh, equinox, we don't have a kind of a cultural celebration. So uh, we, we, we have the opportunity to learn a lot from several country yeah, uh, in a higher latitude. So uh, that's the different of the, the change of the season. We have already three seasons, but you have four. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So in Japan, actually, we have six seasons instead of four. So oh, really? yes, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, and two rainy seasons. Uh, flanking mm. the summer, so the sp spring, the first rainy season, summer, the second rainy season, and autumn and winter. So uh, now is the second rainy season in Japan. So the situation is a little similar in uh, in Thailand. So uh, Komsan, you showed us the in the second slide. You showed us the the weather chart, weather chart um, of the Southeast Asian area. Uh, it was very impressive to me. So next time, next time we will uh, introduce the, the weather chat in Japan, maybe uh, a little similar in other country and a little different from other countries. So uh, uh, next time uh, in December, in winter, uh, how is the weather chat around the Japanese area? So, uh, in the winter, uh, in many areas in Japan, uh, we expect many clear skies. Okay, mm -hmm. so we can uh, explain using the weather chart. Okay, so this is the, <laughs> another uh, great resources because the weather chart is very different from place to place on this planet Earth and it is very educational resources. Okay, thank you very much for the comment. So uh, do you have any Comments, so come on. So, if you would like to add some comments or other person, so, uh, eh, to, Nihon no, ano, mina sama, mosi nanika, eh, to, shitsmon, comment, to, gareba, endo naku. Okubo san mo nanika, yoshi? I, uh, yes, uh, we have many great messages in chat area. Uh, wonderful. Uh, congratulations. Great. Okay, so many messages. Thank you very much for uh, the messages. So uh, please feel free to write any messages, any feedback in, in chat area. Okay, so Kamsan, thank you very much. And uh, thank you for uh, teachers and students in two schools uh, from Thailand. Uh, even, 
And I would uh, thank you, Mr. Mahdi, to create the event Dust Sky Photography. And I think I will uh, running this program. Uh, this is the idea to run this program out to our school network in in this winter season that, uh, that have very clear sky to observe across the Thailand. Right. Oh, thank you very much, Beth. The cloudy skies and the rainy skies are also a great uh, earth environment. So we appreciate both clear skies and cloudy skies and rainy skies. Yes, this is the, yes. the great examples of the earth environment, not lunar surface or not Martian surface. <laughs> okay. Yes. So Mr. Thank San, you. I wanted to add just one more comment, you know. Oh, okay, in, Mate, please Iran, go ahead. Iran, Iran, we have four seasons, okay, but in Boucher, in south of Iran, the city that I live, we have only one and a half season. You know, there are eight or nine months of summer because it's always hot, not raining, and there are three or four months, you know, it gets a little bit cold and, uh, you know, some rains. So we always have a clear sky. Of course, if there, there, there isn't any light pollution, but uh, <laughs> this is uh, a huge difference for us because it's always hot and sunny here. Okay, so Madi, uh, thank you very much for the comments. So. So I would like to, uh, uh, to, to introduce uh, some comments to Japanese uh, students uh, in Japanese. Uh, え、日本の皆様あの、すごく面白いコメントがいろいろありまして、国によって気象が全く違うと。え、台湾 空の様子がどうだったかというこの研究ですけども、考えてみればえっと気象条件も一緒にお話しするとですね、あの面白いなということがあのお話の中でわかりました。いかがでしょうかね。またぜひお考えください。Okay. Thank you very much. Um, uh, so great presentations from Thailand uh, schools as always. So the next time, so. Uh, I and our team uh, expect uh, another great uh, presentations from Thailand school. So come some, please uh, uh, arrange uh, next time also. And thank you very much for your great arrangement. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to the next country, Iran. And first, uh, I will would like to uh, play uh, a short uh, message video by Mariam. So, Mariam, are you here? Okay. Hi, Santa. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So, um, and after that, so uh, I uh, would like you to add some comments to your video. And after that, uh, Medica, are you here? Okay, so I would like to... Yes, hello. I'm here. Okay, so... Uh, Medica, are you here? Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, of course. Clearly, uh, I can hear your voice. Thank you. So, uh, first, I play uh, the short message video uh, by Mariam. And Mariam will add some comments to the video. And after that, please uh, present uh, your message after that. Is it all right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so first I will uh, prepare the video. Okay, so please uh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, please wait a minute. Okay. Hi, my name is Farmix Keshavais Neil from Busher. Happy Merga! Today, sun is in the Libra. Happy Merga! Hello, my name is 
که هستم در سال از بندر ماشه اعتدال پاییزی یا سپتامبر اکیونکس رو به شما تبریک میگم و به همین مناسبت میخوام یه ابزاری بسازیم با هم که نشون میده که خورشید در ماه سپتامبر از کجا طلوع و از کجا غروب میکنه شوی ان سی درجه شهر ما سی درجه از استوا بالاتره اینم خورشید نشون میده این این یه طلوع غروب میبینید این طلوعش از شرق به غرب So thank you very much for a great message video, uh, uh, Mariam. And uh, maybe the the paper craft is the NASA uh, resource. Uh, thank you very much for introducing the the great resource as well. So uh, Mariam, so uh, uh, if you want to add some comments, so please go ahead. Yes, thank you very much, Tomita, Bonraxar, and all the participants. I want to thank you for preparing this situation an opportunity for students and colleagues to share their, um, in fact, uh, works and photos from the darkest sky. And thanks, Mahdi, for uh, preparing this great uh, project. So, and I want to thank colleagues and teachers around the world uh, because of the, their company uh, to the students. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the comments. And um, um, I would like to say, so we are very happy that because we can connect uh, with each other, um, even though it is not so easy to to travel uh, to each other's country so easily, but so uh, it is great uh, to meet uh, uh, each other, uh, even though over Zoom, and exchange the, the great messages and the great videos and great resources. So thank you very much. And I'm also very happy to learn that um, you and the colleagues in Iran are very um, safe and happy. So thank you very much. Thank okay. So much. Okay. Okay, so uh, Medica, so uh, uh, please uh, present uh, your message or if you want to share some slides, so please go ahead. Okay, hello. Um, I unfortunately I can't share my screen. So if it's if it's possible for Mr. Rockney to share the yes uh, PDF, yeah, I would be thankful. Share it. Yes, sorry. Thank you. Can you see the screen? Yes, of course. I can clearly see the screen. Okay. So, hello everyone. I'm Malika and I hope you all had a good day so far. I send my regards to Mr. Rukni and I'm very grateful for uh, towards him for giving you this opportunity. The Sky Explorers Festival is one of the projects created by ITAU. This festival provides a platform for students to familiarize themselves with the world around and above them in the most realistic way possible. It offers an experience of a lifetime. This festival, which is a combination of astronomy and nature, started in March 2013 with the aim of strengthening the spirit of exploration in line with, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm a little bit distressed. Uh, with the self-belief of the students regarding their abilities. One of the best aspects of this festival is that all of the sections are held by students themselves and teachers only have the role of supervisor. And therefore, students get familiar with teamwork and cooperation, respect for others, scientific work in a scientific platform, and last but not least, being responsible for their own necessities, such as preparing their own food or even pitching their own tents. These years, more than 10,000 Persian students 
from second primary to the second secondary have participated in these events as a team. These events mostly happens in Mehra Observatory in Boucher. It is hoped that the number would grow higher and higher worldwide. So here we can see some methods of organizing this festival. The place and time is mostly dep uh, dependent on the organizers. Uh, although it is recommended that the festival would be held on weekends and someplace far from the city and its lights. We would have observing sun with a solar telescope, camping and setting up tents as a group. Uh, students could be in groups of four or five and use one tent. Making instruments is also optional and uh, it depends on the organizers. They could use and make any instruments that they see fit uh, with the connection to astronomy and nature. My personal favorite, observation of the night sky, materials to be bought, or, bought by students. Um, there are some materials that the students should bring with themselves, such as scissors, glue, and anything else needed to make tools. They also should bring food for the night and breakfast for the next morning. And in addition, they should bring extra warm clothes and for sure a tent. Then we have an educational package that includes some equipment needed by students such as sandal, protractor, or anything that organizer will see fit. And also it is recommended to have an identification card for each participant. And this package uh, should be delivered to the students upon arrival. And can you go to the next slide, please? Here you can see a suggestion schedule for carrying out the festival. Um, you can change it if you like. This is just a suggestion. Also, it is highly recommended to use the students as scientific instructors and camp leaders for this festival. They will be highly motivated and will also learn how to manage the event and a group of other students. It may be necessary to hold workshops for trainers before the festival, or even you can hold a competition to select them. Um, at the end, I must say that uh, the main organizer of this project is the Students International Network for Astronomy in short term SINA. And the Sky Explorers Festival is, open, is now open for all students around the world to participate. And I really should add that I'm one of the students who participated in this festival for the first time. And that is how I got familiar with astronomy and that really encouraged me to pursue a career in science and astronomy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great presentation and great content and great report of activity. Okay. So um, uh, it was, very much amazing and and surprising to me that um this kind of big event uh is organized by student not university student but high school students so is exactly, it exactly. yes yeah, so uh, it's a amazing and impressive and um uh and uh, also so this kind of event uh continues more than 20 years. So um, another great thing and uh, another amazing thing. So um, it is um, just a, a amazing and impressive and very interesting uh, points to me. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, so I, I uh, will explain in Japanese to Japanese colleagues. イランの、えっと、え、中学生、高校生の活動ですけども、Okay, so in the chat comment, uh, yes. Um, Tamita san, uh, I want to you know, just add some short comments and okay. thanks to Medica for the great mm -hmm. presentation. I just want to say that, um, you know, Meher Observatory was the 
maybe one of the biggest organizers of uh, astronomical activities uh, in Iran. And uh, this is just one of the activities that we established in a mayor observatory during the last 10 or 15 years. And, uh, you know, you cannot count how many students joined this festival or other festivals in the observatory in a place that actually uh, belongs to the students. And they are come and handle the project, learn the astronomy and learn how to manage an activity and a project and they carry out everything themselves, including me. I started there when I was a student and uh, actually uh, ITAU established from this observatory, SINA has founded from these uh, activities in the observatory. And uh, so I just wanna say thank to the organizers, my colleagues from the observatory who are actually here, Hossein is here, Mariam is here, and Hassan, I think, is not here, and so many other people who helped so many years for these kind of activities there. And you cannot believe how many students came to this observatory for this kind of project, and uh, their life has changed. They pursue astronomy for their, you know, for their education, and uh, they became astronomers, and they learned social skills. And I'm sure that this kind of activities are not for only the Iran or this observatory. I'm sure that most of the countries or lots of countries have this kind of activities and festivals, especially Thailand, Japan, or even Romania, whenever. I, I'm not sure about that. But uh, maybe it's a good idea and we can, uh, you know, com uh, combine all this together to make a great activity we can add aspects and features so we can introduce it to the rest of the world so everybody can join the same activity and use this activity to introduce other important aspects that we are following, especially for the light pollution and environmental uh, problems that we have on the air. So I think this is this can be a great success for this festival. And I hope that after this, we're gonna uh, you know, focus on this and step by step try to uh, you know, uh, have this one as a main activity uh, for our community. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mehdi. And um, uh, I think that astronomy is the gateway to many areas, including the, the environmental education and also the international understandings and uh, the the build the, building the community and the uh, building the the social skills to to connect people uh, crossing over the national boundaries. And uh, as I wrote to you the other day, um, the the presentation of the Iranian students' activity at the K twelve uh, astronomy education. Uh, conference in Taiwan, the uh, attendance uh, was surprised that um, both male and female students uh, join this activity, organize this activity. So from the newspaper uh, or other resources only, the Taiwan and other countries people would think that only male students uh, can organize this kind of activity, but reality is from your presentation. So uh, regardless of gender, regardless of age, so any students uh, who have uh, the desire, uh, who uh, have passion can organize and share uh, this activity. So it's very important and it's very educational. And uh, I think it is very important. Okay, thank you very much for sharing this great uh, report and photos that tells us a lot about your country's great culture and education. Okay, so uh, thank you for, uh, Melika, thank you for the great presentation of the student activity. And I heard you are uh, one of the students uh, at, uh, of the Sina, is it right? 
Yes. Okay. So, uh, so are you a high school student? Uh, I just finished high school and I'm waiting to go to college. Okay. So, so great. So uh, this is a great message to uh, other countries' students because you are the great example of the experience in organizing this kind of event and also pursue, uh, pursuing the, the further uh, education, higher education at university. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so do you have any comments and feedback? Fantastic, wonderful in chat room. Okay, so thank you very much for the, the presentation and input from Iran. So we want to go to the next country. So uh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting for a long time. Romania, uh, the great, one of the greatest countries of ed Western medication, Romania. Thank you very much. So, um, So I have some videos here uh, from, okay. So please wait a minute to start some presentation. Okay. Uh, Mihaela, are you here? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's not a good connection. So, okay, so I have your slides here in my PC. So, uh, shall I present uh, the slides from my PC? If it's possible, yeah. Thank you okay. very much for help. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, can you see the slides clearly? September equinox. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, uh, do you want to uh, explain the slides uh, from you or uh, shall I uh, introduce some slides from my PC? I will try to explain what my students want to okay. uh, work. Okay, thank you very uh, much. Please. They are very excited and excited because this project uh, developed a lot of things. Sorry, why I think it's not okay. Uh, it's not. Okay, so can I go to the next slide? I think now it's a little bit better. Uh, they uh, try to present uh, something about uh, intercultural tradition and astronomy in Romania. Um, they uh, spoke about um, the... Um, light pollution so uh, i'm i'm sorry but i think i i can't open my presentation here okay i'm sorry <laughs> no problem Okay, so I will uh, go to the next slide. Okay. Yes, they present something about the light pollution, like I say, and uh, the some uh, way to to solve the problems. 
And also in the, in the other uh, slides, they present uh, uh, some information about uh, it. Hmm. Okay, so I will go to the next slide. Okay, so uh, the first sentence, uh, first paragraph is the uh, is what we experienced also in Japan. Okay. okay. Thank you for your help because I'm not in that good uh, area for the internet. Yes, uh, this solution is also what we try uh, in Japan and many uh, uh, dark sky areas. But uh, this solution is seems to be very easy, but sometimes it's not so easy because the local government and the local residents um, have to collaborate with each other to to introduce uh, this. Uh, this type of lightning okay i will go to the next slide okay okay agriculture and architecture yes architecture uh Ancient architecture is the observatory uh, and also served as a calendar. Yes. Yes, navigation and astronomy. Okay. okay the next slide. Ah, oh, yes, weather forecast. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, facts. Okay. <laughs> One of the most widespread transitions during the eclipse. Uh, was drumming and making a noise uh, during the equinox, I think. Uh, many people used to beat drums, hit objects, and make loud noises to ward off evil spirits. Oh, okay, so this is the same. Um, yeah, okay. Thank that was, okay. Uh, okay, so the second progress is very uh, interesting. So we have um, different version of constellations based on our own culture. So the Cassiopeia is a W-shaped constellation and it's often associated with the queen named Cassiopeia. So this is the, the official uh, version of the constellation um, uh, endorsed by International Astronomical Union. In Romanian myths, Cassiopeia is often depicted as a fairy or moon goddess. Yes, so um, I'm not so familiar with the local tradition of constellation in Japan, but um, every culture and every country has uh, its own uh, constellation other than the official constellation. Yes. 
yes it's very interesting uh, thank you for the introducing the 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 local uh constellation ah yes constellation orion is often yes mm -hmm. yes 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 okay okay thank you very much so um so uh i uh, didn't uh read all the sentences but uh everybody you can enjoy the the contents of this great uh, slides uh by reading yourself and uh of course uh, as i said in the first uh, uh part of uh, today's program so i I'm recording uh, this program and will archive uh, on the website. So please uh, um, check again the recordings uh, and uh, see the, the great slides. Okay, so um, Mihaela, so do you want to uh, uh, say something about your presentation and add some comments? Okay. Oh, uh, thank you very much for, for your help because my laptop is not on in the condition. I'm very glad to be part of this project. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for the, the all presentation of the other students. And my students are very happy to be part of this project also. Have a nice day. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. So um, uh, if uh, uh, anyone have some comments and feedbacks, so uh, please share uh, your feedback. Donataka, can so ya nanika gozaimashtara, nihon no hanashita yoku niteru toko mo arimashita ga. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I have a little comment. Can I? Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm talking about the dark sky campaign in Thailand, you know. Uh, we join with the Electricity oh, Generating oh. Authority of Thailand. Okay, okay. Can, can, I, can I continue that? So we joined the dark sky campaign in several uh, uh, sites uh, in Thailand. So what, what we do is uh, we uh, change the light bulb into the LED, LED, the light emitting diode, and can save a lot of, uh, of uh, electricity. And also we change the light shade, the lamp shade, right? So uh, we can save a lot of energy and we convince the community that uh, if uh, you uh, use the uh, new kind of lampshade or the light bulb, uh, you can save a lot of budget because in many areas, especially in the mountainous area, when they use the light for growing plant at night. So, uh, uh, we join with the ECAT for changing the lampshade and the light bulb. So it's working very well for the dark sky campaign mm -hmm. in many sites. So we're going to continue, continue doing that. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, yes, Ben Raksha, thank you for the comments. So, uh, Mihaela, so uh, do you have any uh, reply to the comments? Okay, so um, another short comment from me, um, uh, also to uh, Ben Raksha's comments. So, LED is um, um, a very good uh, next generation lamp, but 
because the 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 wavelength characteristics is a little bluer because the traditional bulb is a little wetter and uh, very uh, friendly to our eyes but the led has a bluer color so it is um a little um not friendly to our eyes and also because the bluer light uh, is scattered much more in the atmosphere uh, causing the severe light pollution so uh, we can introduce the warmer color led plus the shade uh, covering the the top of the the lightning so uh, it is okay the solution is this but um as i said uh, the local government and the local residents uh, can uh, should collaborate with each other to introduce the the light and the shade uh, because uh, some people would say that okay so this kind of problem is not so a big problem it's just for the problem for astronomers no 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 it's it's a problem for all people <laughs> okay so we can have the safe the uh, way of light uh, and also we can have the we can preserve the quiet and the dark sky so uh, we have to uh, communicate with the local people local government to introduce uh, this kind of solution okay ah yes uh, and the message from Alexander, it exhausts the eyes. <laughs> yes, sometimes, sometimes blue color LED is very uh, 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 not not friendly to our eyes. Okay, so um, here in my PC, I have another uh, short uh, video from Luminitsa Ujika. Uh, about dark sky photography and light pollution. So, Luminita, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so thank you very much. So, always uh, giving us many great resources and reports. So, I will uh, play the video from my PC. And after that, uh, please uh, make uh, some comments uh, about the video and uh, some comments. After that, are you okay? Yes, please, because I had some connection issues. I couldn't hear you. And after okay. all, I had to get on my phone. So please share my video. And after that, I comment. Okay. Thank you again. Okay.
Okay, so thank you for sharing the the great and impressive video. And I think that the faintest magnitude you can see was about five and six magnitude. So uh, it's a great and very uh, nice night sky you can have. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, please go ahead, uh, Dominica. Yes, I must precise that um, it was only one night because all the others were, uh, were uh, with rainy days. So uh, I'm Luminica Ujica. I teach geography at sports program high school in Bistrița and together with my colleague, Violeta Cristurian, who teaches physics at the same school, we coordinated five students, uh, one in the ninth grade, two in 10th grade, and uh, two in 11th grade. And uh, we send uh, one student together with uh, one former student of ours. What I must recognize is a professional photographer and I sent uh, them uh, together with the instructions you gave us uh, in a rural, rural area where they live. And uh, we took together uh, pictures from four areas, two of them being urban areas and two of them uh, rural areas. And uh, they had different luminosity levels. Uh, we had some difficulties because uh, as it uh, has been mentioned before, in Romania, school began this year at 11 of September and the time was pretty short. And uh, we had a few days to prepare students and uh, also to find some fine day to take our pictures. But we managed to find one day uh, with perfectly starry night. And also we couldn't set our photo cameras uh, to take properly uh, photos. I uh, heard that uh, some of uh, the students uh, complained of that. Uh, we had pictures with less uh, stars that we uh, were able to see with naked eyes. So we decided to use uh, photo cameras and we had a Canon and a Sony Alpha. And uh, we tried to do our best and uh, there was the result. I don't know if it's good or fine. We played uh, with uh, ESO and exposure times. I uh, noticed that uh, my student who took uh, pictures from rural area had uh, five seconds exposures and we had 30 seconds exposures, but uh, his pictures were, were better than ours, I uh, think. And uh, all the time we were doing this task, I must say that students had a great time. It was the uh, first time we had a night activity. And uh, I don't know we, if uh, we managed to do it okay, but it must certainly, uh, we had great memories. And it's a game for us. And uh, I, uh, must thank you for all the opportunities you gave us. Uh, yesterday we had researchers night in uh, Europe and uh, because of these opportunities, we had something to share from uh, the activities developed in our school. And a great thank you for all that opportunities. Thank you very much. And I can't expect for the other, <laughs> for the next one. Thank you. Oh, okay, so thank you very much. So um, um, as uh, we discussed in the first part of today's program, so we can have the, the data archive of this research. Um, the, 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 okay, so first how to uh, take uh, the pictures by digital camera or smartphone camera uh to represent uh, the sky quality as we see by naked eye and after that um we can collect the data from many places on the globe and also we can um 
research the 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 change uh, the sky quality change in years so my expectation is that the sky quality is a little um re related to uh solar activity 11 year solar activity so um i am the the observer uh, uh i'm the researcher of the uh, observational research of galaxies very faint galaxies and i know that the sky brightness depends on the solar activity so uh we can uh, we can investigate the slight change of the, the sky brightness depending on the solar activity. And also this depends on the color. Yes, the sky has the color dependence. So the redder color, the, the solar activity is uh, we can uh, the sky brightness is sensitive to uh, the redder color. Okay, so this is an example. So the, the entrance, the gateway is very easy to enter. The sky brightness and the the counting the number of stars, but the, the research is can be very high uh, from astronomical point of view uh, because the the photography itself is very uh, it needs uh, high uh, skills and technology. And the analyze and analyzing the data and discussing about the data it needs some scientific point of view. So uh, yes, the entering is very easy. And inside the, the room, the science is very high. So we can have many uh, research projects. And uh, I'm very happy to learn that this project uh, was very happy to your students and also uh, teachers, including you. So thank you very much for your comments. I almost forget to tell you that Mrs. Anna sends you best regards. She is being involved with the uh, Olympics at the junior level. Thank you for your kind words. Okay, okay. so um, so I once uh, joined the the Olympiad of uh, Earth Science uh, held in Japan, and one of the one of the okay. So what can I say in English? Um, one of the method of the examination is that uh, devise the tool, use the tool, um, calculate the data, and analyze the data. So uh, this sequence is the a type of examination uh, presented in uh, Science Olympiad. So uh, this time's uh, research project, uh, astrophotography and light pollution is like um, Science Olympiad problem. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, do you have any comments and feedback uh, to Luminita's uh, presentations? Okay. So uh, this is, uh, uh, these are what I have in my PC. And if you have any other resources or presentations, uh, uh, we welcome you to present here now, uh, especially from Romanian teachers. And as Madi said, uh, thank you for submitting many uh, reports uh, on the website. And uh, we will summarize the data uh, much more detail in detail later and publish uh, later. So please uh, give us a little time, a little days um, to do some works. Okay, so message, it's really interesting. I can't wait for the next one. Thank you very much. So um, actually I want to say, I am very sorry for poor coordination of time schedule and all uh, every time just an, uh, 
one day before or two day before. <laughs> so uh, I sent you the timetable and the schedule. So I have to say I'm sorry. But next time in winter solstice, maybe around uh, winter solstice day. So what day will be the winter solstice? Twenty uh, second, twenty third December. Twenty mm, second Friday. So in Japanese calendar, Friday twenty second. Okay, so this is the candidate of the day. So uh, I will later uh, ask you uh, when is the suitable day for the next round uh, for the December solstice around Friday twenty second December. So anyway, so uh, thank you very much for the presentation from Romanian teachers. Okay, so the time is around. Okay, so okay, so please wait a minute. Please wait a minute. Okay. So uh, this is uh, all of the presentation. Okay, are you all right? No problem. So. If you have any further comments and feedback, uh, okay, so after that, I will uh, send you the list of the email address and the contact addresses later to uh, for further and future communication with each other. Okay, so thank you very much. So all of you to share great and interesting and exciting resources and information and friendly comments as, as always uh, i would like to say thank you again and again many times uh, even though uh, it is still a uh, severe time uh, but uh, this zoom meeting makes us very happy and um, i'm very happy uh, always uh, uh, that make it happen uh, as it is now. Okay, so uh, so before finishing today's uh, program, so I would like to uh, take a group photo on this Zoom session. So if you are all right, please turn on your camera and I will take the picture on my PC. And of course you can take a picture on your PC. Okay, I can see many faces. Okay, so, uh, Hossein. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, so I will uh, print screen. Okay. And send you later. Okay. I may fail to print screen, so please print uh, your screen on your PC as well. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay, so Alexander thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, Wita Surat Tani, thank you very much, Luminita. Uh, Oshino Sensei, uh, Okubo san, arigato. Uh, Pantia Beatrice, uh, Mahuti, uh, Nisa Pana, pa, uh, Panlapa, uh, Chogo Kenris Dayaku, uh, Fuzoku, Chugako, Mina san, Osoku, Mane, arigato. Komsan, uh, uh, Nakashibetsu Koko, Oshino Sensei, Mariam Hossein, and the Minita, and the Bun Raksa. Thank you very much. Thank so you. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you. Okay. Okay. So I would like to uh, say goodbye again, and uh, please uh, meet again on December solstice, maybe around twenty second December. Okay. So thank you very much and goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.